hello hello and welcome to my video I want to show you a 1995 Breckenridge 40 foot camping trailer and I'm, I'm not gonna make no lies I'm gonna tell you like it is I've never seen a Breckenridge that didn't have at least one leak and usually they have several so I'm just telling you like it is and it's not because I sell Forest River product and I'm a Wildwood dealer I'm just telling you I've never seen one of these that didn't have at least a leak if not several this one's a 95 and it had a rubber roof put on it at some point in its life I don't know if you can see that but the rubber roof cost about 4500 that prevents the slide out from ever being put in unless you want to cut the rubber roof because it's a permanent type deal uh, it's not a bad trailer they camped in it up until yesterday today's July 8th it's got a 20 gallon electric hot water heater it's got a furnace it's a park model there's no holding tanks uh, it's got some crazy looking siding on it it's got a little rot and mold and mildew on the inside. I'm going to show that to you. Uh, like I say, don't get me wrong, I just tell it like it is. I don't want to say this is a great trailer and have you waste your time and energy and come and look at it. It's a bit of a fixer-upper. You can probably see the dents there. It's got a nice 20-foot awning on it. It pulls down the road fine. It was in a Yogi Bear campground. Like I say, the last owner spent about $4,500 on the roof to get it to quit leaking. So we go on inside. It's a nice bunk house. Uh, there's, that's a sleeper sofa. This is not a power slide, and it's not ever coming in again unless you cut the roof. And that won't be happening while I own it, I'll guarantee you. So it's got a soft wall. Uh, it doesn't smell. Uh, oddly enough, it does not smell. You can see it's got single pane windows. I'm showing you some of the leak marks around the window. The carpeting's all in good shape. There's some more leak marks around this window. You can't step through the floor anywhere. It's a nice big park model. It'd be great for somebody handy. Everything works in it. It's got a 20 gallon electric hot water heater and air that'll blow you out of here. A newer fridge, a gas range, electric microwave, house type toilet. And moving on to the back. A uh, nice bunk room. There's no signs of leak in the bunk room at all. It's got a mini dinette. Two bunks. I'm going to show you this window. No signs of leaking back here. Well, you know, it's a 95. What can I say? The carpet's in good shape. And as a bonus, like I say, it does not stink. Uh, does not smell like mold and mildew. It was camped in until a couple days ago. They bought a brand new park model from me. A couple extra pieces of trim in the closet along with the bunk ladder. Walk through bath. Uh, they put the rubber roof right over the skylight. I think I would have cut their balls off right then and there, but anyhow, there's no leaks in the roof. I mean, you can, I'll take you around the corners here. It's had some repairs, but it doesn't leak now. Sleeper sofa, dinette makes into a bed, storage underneath. It's a good looking trailer, it, you know. For what I'm going to get out of it, somebody should be really happy. And I mean really happy. I can deliver it. If you need delivery, just ask. 
it's at least 11 foot wide if not 12 with the slide out so it takes a wide load permit okay I took you around it a couple times we're only at five minutes so you see the carpets all covered up the owners were meticulous I mean absolutely meticulous clean people uh, amazing uh, what can I say they bought a brand new Quail Ridge Park model and spent over 40,000 bucks on it and they'll be much happier than with the Breckenridge remember what I said even if you don't buy this trailer from me I've never seen a Breckenridge that didn't have at least one water leak if not several there's a few dents in the side it was parked up against the deck no broken windows no duct tape no junk I threw the skirting away it's got the top channel on it be easy to skirt it's a 50 amp electric service 20 gallon electric hot water heater 40,000 BTU furnace no holding tanks direct flush uh, pretty cool what can I say little bit of paneling little bit of caulking you have yourself a $10,000 trailer thanks for looking got any questions call Kelly at 815-849-9089 I think I'll roll up my awning now and go home.